Be assured that you have a protector in heaven and he will plead for you before God. Today, the 11th of February, we celebrate the birth of a selfless soul, a holy priest and an epitome of humility and simplicity, Monsignor Herculano Gonsalves. As a young priest, his oratory skills and sermons transformed the lives of many sinners. His first homily at St. Alex Church in Kalangut on Maundy Thursday was so impactful that it became the talk of the town and was published on the then local newspaper Okrent. He worked as a fervent missionary in Daman and Bombay, became a protector to orphan children and women in distress. Monsignor Herculano felt the presence of God in every place and so to spread the word of God he began teaching catechism by the seashore in Kalangut. His heart was always troubled when he saw young people whiling away their time uselessly. Education, he believed, would inculcate in youth the sense of responsibility and therefore enable themselves to make a living. This thought led him to start Little Flower of Jesus School in Sonapur and Kalangut. Soon, Monsignor Herculano saw the count of orphan children in Kalangut increasing. He sensed the need to give them a home. Giving up all that he owned, he made every sacrifice to erect the St. Alex Orphanage at Kalangut. But who would look after and teach these children? Was the next concern that worried him. This led to the birth of the first religious congregation of sisters in the Archdiocese of Goa that he called Irmaj the Sant Aleshu. Today, well known for their noble work all over the world as the sisters of the Handmaids of Christ. At the age of 64, he was transferred to Belgium and appointed as the Vicar General of the Guards. There, he strived tirelessly to spread the Word of God and draw people closer to Christ. With no means of transport in those days, all this he solely did by foot, walking miles only for the love of God. In all these struggles, his only source of strength was his Jesus and Mother Mary. He spent hours kneeling before the Blessed Sacrament, asking for grace to carry on his work. While away from Kalangut, the thought of his children and sisters always came to his mind. His concern towards them was evident in every letter that he wrote to know if all is well with them. At the age of 77, due to failing health, he then returned to Goa and spent his last few days in St. Alex Orphanage with his beloved children. The day of 21st March 1950 brought huge grief as the journey of a loving father, a great visionary and a selfless soul came to an end. His life on earth was over, but he still lives in the heart of every child in his orphanage and every sister in the convent. All that he envisioned and dreamt of continues to this day, for he believed Whatever you do, do it to please God. Yeah, yeah. 